What's up everyone? This ain't a repair video. Um, today we have this, the Linksys, uh, let's see. MX-10, I think. Um, MX-5300, although the kit I bought it in had two of them it's called MX-10. There's only two of them left, so it's essentially having one kit. I don't know if you remember, but I made a video a couple of years ago, maybe, I can't remember when, but I, I think I did unbox this on this channel. Unless it was one before this, which I doubt. Um, so, I bought one kit of these. There were two of them. And then I bought another one. There are another two. Uh, I'm not sure if this is an original one or an older one. I don't know. But for some reason, it doesn't work. So, I figured out how it might be opened. There are some clips. There are some clips holding this top grill in place, and then there's screws to release the, the this like outside case. So you have to somehow get rid of the top grill. which I'm trying to figure out how to do. All right, so there's a little bit showing. So I just need another screwdriver. said but that's done it's just a bunch of clips uh, these need to be removed so you just work your way around the square while prying underneath it okay there you go top grill is removed there's this little thing to carry the light from an LED down there up to the top. All right, so let me grab a couple other tools and I'll get right back. Okay, I think this is all I need for now. Just a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, so all those screws should be out by now. Okay, they're not all out. It is kind of coming out from, from here, sliding out like I said it would. But it's taking a little more effort than I think it should. All of the screws are definitely out. Oh, wait, that one isn't. There it goes. Like I said. Okay, so it's essentially just a massive heat sink. Oh, look at that. There's a little micro USB port. What happens if I plug it in? Oh, okay. That's an interesting question. There's a micro USB port there. I'm gonna I'm gonna plug it in no, first without the power being connected, and second with the power being connected. Okay. Where is it? There. So I have a MacBook right here. Yeah. If I don't know if I uploaded the video yet, I'm not sure if I will yet. Uh, probably because it's not done being filmed. Um, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I 
just reset it. So I'm not sure if you saw that notification. Whatever. Um, I don't really care for this computer anymore. So if it if it burns out from plugging this in, I don't really care because I have a new one that's better. It's cheaper. The new one's cheaper as well. It's better. It's more powerful in every way. Okay, um, I'm struggling to find a micro USB cable, uh, which is kind of an issue. Micro USB, what do I have that's powered by micro USB? I'll get right back. I can't find a micro USB cable right now. Okay, I'm back. Found one in my toolbox. Of course, with the Mac, I need the USB-C adapter. I don't anymore with my Windows. Okay, it's plugged in. I hope this transmits uh, data as well because that came from a charger. Um, okay, it's not being recognized, so I'm gonna plug it in. See what happens. Okay. Trust me, it's plugged in. It's just on the other side. Oh, got a light. I don't want to touch anything. It's on. It just wouldn't connect. Okay. I'm checking disk utility. There are no devices other than the built-in drive on this Mac, so. Well, I don't really know what it's, what that port is for. It's not showing up on my computer. And it's a totally legitimate computer. It, it works, but it's just a terrible value. All right, whatever. Not really interested. I think it could be for like service by Linksys or whoever. Um, has the proprietary software to use it. They should have put a proprietary port. All right, a bunch of antennas. Oh, that just pops off. Okay. A bigger antenna, still connected. start with this. Let's try removing some of the antennas. There should be enough slack, right? No? Okay. Since the cover since this heat sink kind of covers the uh the antennas uh wires i think the the heat sinks should be removed first based on that logic Now it's getting kind of tiring to do it by hand. Let me get my drill out. Right there. Over there. No, 
I just need something. Yeah. Now, I know you guys probably wouldn't be able to relate to this because you guys usually just watch my videos one time and don't really come back. Only a few of you do, so thanks. Um, but this is starting to feel like I've, this has happened before. Like, I opened this exact toolkit. Uh, I'm not sure if I was filming a video at that time, but... So that's why... That's why even returning viewers may not remember what I'm trying to say, but I don't know. It just feels like it happened before what I'm doing right now. Like in this exact location. Okay, so doesn't want to move. All the screws are out. Are there any screws on the bottom? There might be. Oh yeah, there probably are. So I'll need to peel the label off the bottom. Oh yeah, there's screws on the bottom. Four screws. Okay, that was helpful. is that stuff makes me wonder it was in the garage so who knows what happened I need to wash my hands after I do. Who knows what that stuff is? Okay, I'm thinking there's some kind of like thermal paste because when I disassemble old, oh, there is. When I disassemble old computers, the thermal paste is usually caked onto the. Uh, CPU and makes the CPU cooler, hard to remove. There are thermal pads though. I'm not sure that's why you call it paste, but there it is. They cover up these things. We can peel the covers off. To have a better look at it. Not much to see. Okay, now we can finally remove those antenna cables, at least on this board. All right, how about this one? Maybe we just need it. There we go. There's the other heat sink out. Hm. Didn't have to remove the base, actually. A bunch of thermal pads of different thicknesses. Thickness. Uh, there's still more stuck to the board itself. And then more of these antenna cables. We can just unroute them and the top part should come off. Oh, there's still more. They're, those are weirdly enough glued to it, so. 
but I got them off this like hot glue. Oh, there's still more? <laughs> all right, finally, that's all. Oh, the cable, the antenna cables are gone. We can remove these um, covers. I'll show you what's underneath. I think this would be the CPU, right? I think one of these are. Or I could be wrong and it's on the opposite side. Nope, might be on the opposite side. None of those look like a CPU. I'm just hauling on this board and it came off, so that's interesting. Although it's not sliding out properly. I think it's caught on something. I think I need to, it has something to do with these three screws here. Okay, this comes off. And here's the other side of the board. I guess the non-networking side because the other side seems to be focused completely on networking because it has the ethernet ports and stuff. I'm not sure what this is. You can tell me. All right, the CPU should be under here somewhere. Okay, that looks more like a CPU. It's made by Qualcomm. And then I think those are RAM chips next to it, if I'm not mistaken. Then something else. There's the CPU. Let me zoom in on that. I'm not sure that's upside down. It says Qualcomm. I'm not sure if you can see. There it is. If you have an HD screen, you should be able to see it, no problem. Okay, now here, I think if I just kind of pry at it, it should come off, there it goes. Oh, there's a CR2032 battery. I'll keep that, if there's still any charge, that is. Hold on that. Okay, so just something that also looks like like this in a way. There's the other side of it. I show both sides of the board so you guys can see. Here's the ports on this one. Here's this side of the board. Should hold it like that so you can see the whole thing. And flip it over. There's that. And the ports there on this one, just the power jack and the USB port. And strangely enough, the micro USB port I plug something into is on the networking side of it. And then they have this connector on the inside. Check out the middles that kind of pop together. Uh, some way. Okay. Like that, you see that connector somewhere in the middle, right there. It holds it together to look like that. 
All right, so pretty thorough tear down on this machine. I might keep the heat sinks, not sure why. They're just nice pieces of aluminum. I need to go wash my hands because I'm not sure what that was on the inside of this machine. A lot of um, very heavy use of uh, these thermal pads, nothing, no actual thermal compound like we would in PC building or any form of normal computer. All right, so yeah, there it is. This is kind of the main thing right here. And another reason, uh, actually, no, I don't think that applies here, whatever. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope it was somewhat helpful. Um, yeah, there's everything. Metal, uh, more metal, the antenna array of some sort, plastics, plastics, more metal. So there isn't all that much metal, and you don't count all these little covers. PCB, lock screws, and then more plastics over there. And don't forget the case. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.